And there you have it. Do a quick check. And looks like I only broke one of the tabs, so not too bad. <clears throat> okay, so now we can see the two two boards. One is actually under the seat shield, which is what we'll need to remove. This is the analog digi digital converter board. Um, this is not the problem here in this case. So what we're going to do is remove the shield. There are three screws initially. third screw was actually deeper down and we just kind of break off this tape here it's metallic tape that shields the wires and lift off the shield <clears throat> and sure enough I can tell that the capacitor right here is bulging. So the next thing to do is this step is actually optional but just to make sure that we keep the wires in order I like to label the connectors We then remove the four screws that are attaching the board. And what I found is it's actually easier to remove the power cable that connects the power board to the analog board found it's easier to remove it from this end. So I'll just take a needle nose to help me pull it from the connector here. I want to be careful with this. Then we'll want to remove our video connectors as well. And now we can remove the power board so that it's easily repaired. This is the capacitor that needs to come out. Next step is to desolder the old capacitor. And I will resume video once the soldering iron has heated up. <coughs> 